We are live from Fist Energy Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio, home of the Cleveland Burns, where there's smoke, there's fire, and there's plenty of smoke up here in the booth. We are in for a barn burner today. Oh, let's come up from the toilet to the men's room. They're on fire again. I'll tell you, this is not an aroma I'm fond of, Grim. Like Limp the Cheese Fondue gone bad. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team stormed the field. The New York Threats battle. The Cleveland Burns. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> move baby no you didn't you know why i'm too fast for you i'm the greatest the greatest i tell you <laughs> if you're just waking up wondering who put that vice on your head and filled your mouth with vacuum cleaner dirt and cat litter you're not alone after all it's sunday mfl game day hey you look tired junior and bricks look like they just use your head in field goal practice spent all night in the er we ate chinese food last night food poisoning i wish i got the chopsticks lodged in my ears again you know they should have a warning on them things oh great tackle when his brain is unscrambled he'll be thinking about that hit yeah most likely in a convalescent home second and three got nothing out of it. Third down and three. Oh, what a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. Cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. First and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down and forever. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ain't going to happen, partner. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. needs a miracle. Angry 
and runs hard. First down. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Second down and ten. That's a pass and catch for no gain. And how is it a pass? Third down and ten. a killer it was right there and then he dropped it oh scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league don't do anything stupid here just punt the damn ball and play defense oh no good now that punter's gonna find a cutoff bison head in his bed tonight no return on this punt the defense will just down it i can't tell if he's smart or scared either way the ball is down and it's first and ten. And he rumbles for nine on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. the way to move the chains that's good for a first down this game is all about momentum and killing and it's first and ten not much there maybe a yard second down and nine First and ten. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Fields. And now they can taste sound but can't remember what the concept of time is. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. Just like you love life. Second down and ten. his way out of that tackle. He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. Pass and catch for three. Receiver needs to break some tackles. Second down and seven. ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Third down and eight. This 
Seriously, man, you think you'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. Oh, I love this dirty trick. P5 by the bomb. Stop him into the ground. And he just slipped away. And this guy is making a name for himself tonight with a pickup of about ten on that play. Hey, he makes up a name for himself every night. That's how he stays ahead of the bounty hunters. He's wanted in 50 states. something going here and it's first and ten the defender is just in. he's so fast he can run a kick off for a touchdown before the ball was even kissed second down in a mile And he pulled out a chainsaw, and now he's twice he's back to the defense. He's at the 10. Here comes the defense. That's his dance? My floor wizard vacuum bot has better moves. I dance with my vacuum a lot, Grim. That's not wrong, is it? It is when you make a dinner and buy a perfume, you pervert. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. He's supercharged and can electrocute any opponent. Fumble! You've got to protect the ball better than that. He could go all the way. The ten. Holy mother of mutant mayhem! He scored! Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Frank. And it's first and ten. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot three.
two-minute warning folks stay tuned from the halftime show and the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt his knitting is superb grim that cross stitching unbelievable the return man catches the ball and heads up field oh that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life <laughs> And it's first and ten. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. target more often. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And it's first and ten. Just use his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. Oh, with a brutal hit! The offense goes into their two-minute drill. It's the same thing in the hurry-up offense, you moron. You can't keep a good mutant down. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry-up. Yeah, same as Brits, his ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown! Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. offense the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock and the quarterback finds his man for the first down they need to call an attack ref dirty trick and stop this or they're gonna lose not like they need any help with that though Grim. these guys are doing fine by themselves They're back up here on first, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> I don't 
First down in a mile. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Roundup. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. The third quarter is about to begin, and if it's as much of a blowout as the first half was, we may see a riot in the stands. Well, that's going to happen either way, Grim. It's a $1 Red Bull crap and vodka jello shot day. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. right there folks and it's first and ten oh what a great defensive play that was bricks kind of like your aunt bertha this guy has some big balls what a hit yeah she does have a big pair grin you're right way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Second down and six. And they call a ginormous dirty trick. Big so big that the last time he saw 90210 was on the bathroom scale. And he, that was a good one. Third down and long. Well, he just 
heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talking to you. And he put all of his foot into that one. Nice catch. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, eight. That's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. Second and three. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Third down and three. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Two. He is rolling thunder and pouring pain. It's a zap attack. Welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. The 20. He's at the 10. And he scores! How have they not killed him yet? He's wearing a new mink coat, for God's sake. He's seven layers of smarmy, Grim. First and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps offside to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. Yeah. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the ball falls to the ground. That's incomplete. He needs to throw it when a receiver can catch it. What's he doing? And uh, groundbreaking analysis as always there, Bricks. Oh, thank you. I do my part. And that's a pass that went nowhere. Oh, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey, maybe you need a better opening line than you want to see the teeth thrown out of the roof of my mouth? What? The book How to Pick Up Girls and Tell Them Something You Need to Watch Yourself. That's unique. And they'll keep the drive alive as he rifles it in there and picks up seven yards. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. Hey, guys, this isn't funny. I swear you're drunk. I'm not God, but... And I don't want to see the comment section on that replay of the kick. Yeesh. That was terrible. Yeah, he's going to get the right Funko treatment after that miss. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. Yeah, my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. And it's first and ten. And they stack the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. Second down and nine. And he picks up about six on the play. Third down and three. Thank you. 
The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. Third down and three. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. Oh, man, what a throw. And Sonic Blast just cleared the field. And like Rix's balls, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And that, my friend, is the dance of someone who knows they can negotiate for more money next year. I call that shake, rattle, and bone. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. Oh, and it's first and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. First down and three. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's all those poetic written like a haiku. <laughs> well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Shh. 
straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Conserve time. Second down in a very lot. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. The offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. That is still edible, though. Just got to scrape off the charred parts. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. The kick is good! And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Stealing ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. The four people on the planet who care about rules and kickoffs must be happy to see a flag down. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. And he's off to the races. But he might catch him. Oh, you fat little mutant. Holy crap, he runs straight into a mutant trap and dies. Reminds me of my breakfast cereal, the old nut crunch. First down and one. Hot, hot one, hot two. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. Second and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And the offense quickly calls their second time out. That's how you do it. Do what? And that'll bring up third and one. Hot one, hot two, hot And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done.
No little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. First and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga. And that's the last time out. The D has to either break the clock or the offense if they want to win. Hey, as long as something gets broke, right? Second down and two. And a hard run there picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Second and three. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Well, if you're into humiliation and scatological fetishes, this Burns loss was right up your alley. Well, there's a waste of an afternoon if you're a Leland fan. But if you're from Leland, uh, that's what every day feels like, I suppose. So, after you. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They should be ashamed of themselves. I know I am. Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right.